Hi, this is Joel Persinger. I'm the Gun Guy. Thank you very much for watching my channel. I deeply appreciate it. You know, it's a funny thing. You do a, a video about one or two Smith & Wesson revolvers, and then they just rain down on you out of the clouds. And uh, I have people contact me and say, hey, can you want to do a review on mine? And this was one of the most interesting of the bunch, if you ask me. This is a model, uh, Smith & Wesson Model 586 No Dash that has been heavily modified for target competition use. So really about the only part that's 586 is from the back of the, you know, the frame basically and that's it. Frame and cylinder and uh, very little and the internals have all been customized as well. So it's really just a completely customized gun. But it is a 586, no dash, and it does have the M stamped inside the crane there right in that uh, crane area on the frame. Uh, it indicates that it was returned because of the recall on the 586 no dash and dash ones and the 686 no dash and dash ones. This one has been sent back to the factory and, uh, and corrected whatever that problem might have been. Now there's some other interesting things on this gun. It's always nice to find a target pistol that's been completely modified because the barrel is obviously not the original barrel. It's really, really a heavy barrel. And then on the bottom of the barrel and on the top, you see some, some uh, equipment from Aristocrat, I guess is how they say it. Uh, that's a company up in the L.A. area. I think they used to be in San Gabriel and now they're in Covina. But in any case, they build these kind of ribs and, and long sight ribs and weights for target revolvers. And they're very, very cool. The sights are incredibly uh, visible because of the paint on them and so on. And the front sight, I'll turn the gun around, the front sight actually has a set adjustment for different yardages so that once your sights are set for windage and elevation, depending on the yardage you're at, you can quick adjust them uh, based upon this front adjustment of lifting up and lowering the front sight and it pops up and comes back down again. The other thing that's really neat, and I'll cock the hammer so you can see it, if you can see real close, you'll notice that the hammer has been polished and the trigger has been polished and you have that jeweled uh, type polishing on there. Now I've heard a number of people tell me that jeweled polishing is the best kind of polishing for internal parts because it makes the, the action so much smoother if it's polished in that jeweled sort of pattern. Now I, I'm not being a gunsmith, I honestly don't know the answer to, to whether that's just a wives tale or whether it's true. But I can tell you that the trigger on this gun is absolutely the smoothest trigger I have ever felt on any revolver I've ever picked up. So there might be something to the idea that this jeweling effect really has a, a positive effect on smoothing, smoothing out the trigger more so than just straight polishing. Now the other thing I noticed on this gun which is really cool is the little set screw on the back of the trigger that's there for, to keep the trigger from traveling too far to the rear. It prevents over travel and that makes the gun uh, a little bit more accurate as well because you're not jerking the trigger. There's a whole lot of reasons for that. And not being a target shooting champion, I probably don't know them all. So if you know the reasons for that, then please comment in the comment section because the rest of us want to know too. I mean, I don't know how many times I've said, I'm not an expert in a lot of this stuff. I'm just a guy who loves guns and shoots and loves to hunt and has been shooting his whole life. And I'm a, I'm a firearms instructor and that's about as far as it goes. When you get into this target stuff, this is all kind of new to me. But frankly, it's extremely cool. So if you know more about it than I do, which is highly likely, go ahead and comment so that, uh, that I can benefit from the knowledge that you might share. But this is really a great revolver. It shoots, uh, to say that it shoots accurately and shoots well and that it's a joy to shoot would be the understatement of the century. It is uh, the best shooting revolver I think I've ever picked up. And a friend of mine was kind enough to lend it to me for this video. I was told that this is a precious belonging of his and I need to return it in precisely the shape that I got it in. So I'll make sure he gets it back just that way. Anyway, thank you for watching my videos. I really do appreciate it. If you know more about these kinds of revolvers or the type of equipment that's attached to this one, please let us know. Uh, I'd love to know more about it myself. And you're welcome to comment in the comment section. Now look, if you love gun videos and you watch them and you're not a member of the NRA, I'm going to make it easy for you by putting a link right here so that you can join. The NRA needs your help. You watch the news a little bit, you know that our gun rights are under attack constantly. Likewise, if you happen to have guns, maybe they're not for target use, you've got them for home defense or you carry a gun on a regular basis because you're in a place where you can do that, 
if you ever use a gun, uh, you know, you'll probably survive, which is the first thing. But then you have the legal battle afterwards. You're li liable to get arrested. You're liable to get sued, even in states where the laws are very friendly. So it's good for you to have some backup. I'm going to include a little link right here so that you can check out Second Call Defense. That's the company I use to back me up if I ever have to use a firearm to defend myself or defend my family. And they provide money up front for things like bail, up front for things like attorneys, rather than being an insurance company that will only reimburse you after you've spent all your money defending yourself and then only if you prevail. Now, Second Call Defense puts that money out front for you and gets you connected with an attorney even in the middle of the night. So check it out. There's a link right there so you can look into that if you'd like. Thank you again for watching my videos and my channel. I really appreciate it. Please like and uh, share us on Facebook, Twitter, and so on. And have a wonderful week. And please watch the next video when they come up. And the, the, the old ones, they're pretty cool too. Thank you again. Be safe.